Hello everyone! Welcome back to MLB Franchise Mode. Today we have got the series against the Phillies before the All-Star break. They are one of the top teams in the league and we have got our work cut out for us. But before that, we got to talk about what happened. So, first we face Baltimore. We beat them 5-4 to four in this first game, allowing a run in the ninth but ended up closing it up. Thank you, Cano. Then we ended up losing 2-7, to seven. Mean struggled. Then we won 6 nothing. It was a great pitching performance by Michael Lorenzen, who finally had a good start this season. You know, he has had a very rough season so far, but that is exactly what you want to see. Then we lost, then we faced Boston. We lost the series, losing the first game 1-4. to four. Kremer wasn't a horrible day, but it wasn't a great day either. Then we beat... Boston by the skin of our teeth, winning it in the bottom of the ninth, three to two. Very good game. I played that game. It was a lot of fun. Then, oh, Cano blew the lead. That's uh, in extra innings. Oh, we lost three to four in the eleventh. We nobody scored a single run through the first nine innings, which I find kind of crazy. Now we face Philadelphia. Let's get on to it. Here we go, we are in Philadelphia for this one. The 49 and 46, 46 Oakland Athletics take on the 60 and 33 Philadelphia Phillies. Pitching for the Phillies today is Colby Allard. This season, 17 starts, 10 and 3 record, 98.1 innings pitch, 3.57 ERA, 1.19 whip. Top of the first. Up is Taylor Walls hitting 211 on the season. There's a swing and a miss. It's a one and two count. Now Walls, 11 stolen bases on the season, even though he doesn't play every day. That's good enough for second on the athletics. Now one and two. Walls hits one. Is that going to fall? Yes, it is a single for Walls. Next up is Harold Ramirez. It's a full count. Ramirez hits one into the outfield, into the gap. Center fielder chasing. Walls rounds third. He'll get home safely and we take the lead in the top of the first. Ramirez with a double. What a hit there. And what a way for us to start off the game. So we'll jump to the bottom of the first here. Pitching for the Athletics, John Means. This season, 19 games started, 8 and 6 record, 122.1 innings. Pitched 3.6 ERA, 1.12 whip. In the bottom of the first, up is Bryson Stott. Hits it over the middle. Means couldn't grab it. That's a single. This brings up Bryce Harper. That's a ball by Means there. Harper is hitting 365. What the hell? That is the greatest batting average I've seen in my lifetime. Sorry, Arias. Anyways, Harper. There's a single that advances the runner to third. Runners on the corners. Up next, Trey Turner. It's kind of weird to see him out here like this, but it's not that surprising because he does have some pop in that bat. Shows it off there. And the Phillies have a three, one, lead. That ball is gone, Turner. His 14th home run of the season. One more time in the hang zone. He did not miss it. Look who it is. It's Harry Ford hitting 289 on the season. One out in the top of the second. He'll foul that one off, keeping it alive. One and two. Harry Ford was a important trade piece for our future, but he's not a big impact for this team right now. But I definitely think for the future, this is going to be a big part of our team. Now, anyways, the two and two count. Here's the pitch. Another ball. Full count. Donaldson is on deck, unfortunately. Here's the full count pitch. Walks him. It's Josh Donaldson. 
It's a two and one count. Hitting 184 on the season. Hits that one past the infield. That's a single. Top of the second. It's Zach Geloff now hitting 274 on the season. Two and one. Hits it up the middle. Ford is going. He's got the speed. And it's two to three. It's Bryce Harper up next. He's one for one. One and one count. Walls ties. He will not get there. That's a single to keep the inning going. Brings up Trey Turner. There's a ball. He gets away. And he's going to get there. Runner on second now. Two and one count. There it is. Donaldson, it gets by him. Turner to second. Turner will be stopped to end the third, but the runner will score. It's four to two. Second now, two and one count. There it is. Donaldson, it gets by him. Turner to second. Turner will be stopped to end the third, but the runner will score. It's four to two. Top of the fourth now with one out. It's Josh Donaldson. He's one for one. One and one count. There's a ball. Two and one count. Donaldson, a three-time All-Star. 2014 to 2016, it was his prime. And since then, he has just not been that same player. Looking to save himself in Oakland, but so far this year, it has not been that great. Anyways, after all my talking, here's a full count. Geloff on deck. Geloff at number nine is huge against lefties because he just crushes them too. It's kind of surprising you think he'd be nine against righties and not lefties. Anyways, here's the full count pitch. And now, Donaldson! There it goes! It's gone! Donaldson with another! Donaldson number 12 on the season! Obviously, we are not going to have a home run derby guy, but it's all about the All-Stars. This is the time to fight. One last All-Star break push. And a home run by Donaldson. It could help, but I, it's not going to do much for him. But that is a big home run for Donaldson, making it 4-3. to three. Up next, Bryson Stott. That's fouled off. One and two. Here's a one and two count pitch. Swing and a miss to end the fifth. Bottom of the sixth we go. Up is Bryce Harper. Two for two. Fouls that one off, making it a one and two count here. Means looking to go at least one more inning. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Next is Trey Turner, who had a three-run home run earlier. It does not want out the distance. Yes, it does. And the Phillies extend their lead. Trey Turner is 15th of the season, second of the day. Another home run out of the park for him. It's 5-3. to three. Means is done for the day. Coming in the game, Blake Trine in this season, 28 games, 5-0 record, 5 holes, 29.1 innings pitch. 1.53 ERA. It said Mundo Sosa up first. There's a strike. It's a two and two. Here's the pitch. Sinker got him. Struck him out. Garrett Stubbs. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Hits one foul. That's not going to do anything there. Now it's a one and two. Here's the pitch, and struck him out as well, back to back. Christian Pache, trying and looking to strike out the side. Here's his chance, he'll do it. Strikes out the side, one, two, three. Here comes Alvarado, I want to make this clear. There were a lot of pitchers that came in. Starting pitcher was taken out in the top of the fifth, 
but nothing happened. No strikeouts. It was all just ground outs, and I'm not showing you guys that. So there was no point in showing you who came into the game. But this is worth it because it's Jose Alvarado this season. 33 games looking for another save. But first is Zach Geloff. Starting off the inning, he's two for three. It's a two and one count. That one, right field. Right fielder has got it. That's going to bring up Rymel Tapia, who I think I'm going to take out of the game. Can anybody play center field that doesn't hit lefty? Okay, that defeats the whole purpose then. We'll leave Tapia in in that case. One for four on the day. One out. One and one count. There's a ball. Two and one. This game is definitely not over, but Athletics got to stay patient and wait for their pitches. There's a ball. Taylor Walls is on deck. Three and one count. Here's the pitch. And now Tapia fouls it off. Did he have to swing at that? I wouldn't have personally because if he hit that, that would have been a ground ball. Could have taken the chance. No. That one's a ball, though. Walks him. Runner on first, and I am not leaving Taylor Walls in a critical situation. Here comes Hernandez. 282 this season. He's got 21 RBIs. Here we go. One and one count. One out. Here's the pitch. Ternayas, third baseman. Oh, no. Double play. Phillies win. I'm going to eat my words for taking out Taylor Walls. Ternayas cost us there with the double play. And the Phillies win it 5-3. to three. But, of course, we're not done. We're going to try and take this series against them. We'll be back for the game, for the closing game of the series. Uh, it didn't occur to me the draft is happening. So, this is probably either going to be a longer video or I'm going to shorten one of the games. So, let's get into it. Alright, to the draft we go. We have the fourth pick... Which means I have to watch all three of them just to go next. That's unfortunate. Brandon Sachs is the first pick of the draft. He looked okay. He had good potential, but that overall wasn't too great. This could be a little better. Eric Bain up next. Who's number three? Cesar Cabrera. Oh, he looks dangerous. He looks really good. That overall... Anyways, let's look into it. This is who I'm thinking right there. Clayton James. We could use some relief pitching for our future. We don't need a we don't need a shortstop. That's the least of my worries. I'm going to say that much right now. Shortstop is the least of my worries because we have a really good future shortstop, in my opinion, in Daryl Hernandez. So, Eric, well, they're definitely not going to make it to the next round. But I got to say Clayton James. Clayton James looks really good. You know, let's look into it. The stamina isn't there, obviously, because he is a a uh, uh, closer. But look at his hits per nine, his strikeouts per nine, his home runs per nine. That's some solid pitch control for a current player. And his pitch velocity, oh, my God. That is my pick. Some really good players gone but we have two choices here do we take another closer and chet heller or do we go with the third baseman dorian hay well let's look at it chet heller doesn't have the stamina at all his hits per nine could be good in the future he's got some solid strikeouts per nine not great walks per nine pitch control could be good some solid pitch velocity and some good pitch break but let's look at Dorian Hay. Right now, everything's in the yellow, but in the future, he could be really good. I really think this is the guy, and he's got really good arm strength. He's expected to go next. That's why I'm going to take him now. I think that's got to be it. Wait, I want to see something. Uh, Let's see. Why can't I? There you go. Okay, he's got the good stealing. Yeah, I mean, this he was supposed to be picked a long time ago. There's something about him that I'm not liking. That's why I'm going to take Dorian Hay next. Hey, it's a competitive balance round. Uh, we could take John Nelson. 
he looks like he could be good. Chris Pat Leotius, he has the best potential as of like it could be the best, but the worst he's definitely got a chance still. Antoine Newell, he's got a bad overall though. John Nelson has probably got to be the guy, or one of these guys have got to go. He's expected to survive. He was expected to go. He's expected to survive. So I, I got to say, we're going to draft this man right here. Got to think that's it. Third round now. We got 50 seconds to look for somebody. I don't know about these guys. I think the best option is John Nelson. So I think that's where I'm going to take. Oh, he could survive, though. Where's the 100 second? Oh, he won't make it to the next round. So, yeah, we're going to draft John Nelson. I don't know why it cut out to not show you, but I drafted Jason Lux. He was the third baseman. He has a... He could be good. He could be bad. He's 18, so anything could happen. Okay, now we're going to look just all. See who's the best. Maxwell Newcomb. Don't we have this guy scouted? No? Okay. Um... I think we could go a lot of ways with this one. It, not that guy, not that guy. Maxwell Newcomb could be really bad. My, I think we're either going to pick Henry Helton or Alex Gutierrez. He's okay for a starting pitcher. His future could be okay. Uh, two starting pitchers, actually, so we can compare them. Currently... Alex has him beat in stamina, and we're running out of time, so I think we're going to go with him. That's my pick. Okay, round six, the final pick. I'm not picking Peter Wilson. He's injured. No, no, no. Okay. Kenny, he, he could be good. Dan Mendoza, Jason Vigil. Oh, DeAndre, oh, look at the potential here. I think we're going to go Christopher Berry, first baseman. I think that's a good pick. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to another game. We lost the last one, which means we're just trying not to get swept and have a exactly 500 record. But I'm a little confused. Because the, the Philly starting pitcher is Griff McCary. Didn't we just face this guy? Wasn't he? Didn't he come in relief? Did they throw a starting pitcher in relief? I am so confused. So we start off the game with Rhyme El Tapia. That average still sitting just under 300. Oh, that change up at the bottom of the zone. That seems to be a little bit where these athletics chase right at the bottom of the zone. And now the one and two. Ball. I guess not bottom, I'm sorry, not bottom of the zone, bottom of the, uh, plate. Anyways, here's a two and two count. Tapia up the middle. It snags, but he's got a single anyway. Top of the first, one out now, and it's Harold Ramirez with an average just above 300. One out, one and two count. Swing and a miss, struck him out. For the first two outs, Brent Rooker is up. Full count, Toppy ended up swiping a bag. There it goes. It's foul. Now it's another full count. Here's the pitch. Rooker, right field. It's going to fall. Tapia makes it home. Rooker's got a double. Next is Brandon Belt. Hitting 228 on the season. Two outs, one and one. There's ball. Two and one count. Here's the next pitch incoming. Two and one count pitch. Here it goes. Swing and a miss. Brandon Bell, still 199 career home runs, looking for number 200. The two and two. That's a ball. We got another full count. The last full count for the Phillies did not go too well. Full count. Here's the pitch. Brandon Bell 
Number 200! That ball is gone! What a historic moment in Brandon Belt's career! Congratulations! Drafted in 2009, and now in 2024, hits the 200th career homer. What a moment for him, a no-doubter. That ball is crushed. Pitching for the Athletics, Dean Kramer. This season, 18 games, 5-5 five five record, 100 innings exactly pitched, 3.518 ERA, 1.34 whip. We jump to the bottom of the second to bring up Kyle Schwarber. He fouls that one off, making it a 1-2 and two count. Kramer just wanted to keep throwing the stuff he could, and that worked out there against Schwarber for the strikeout. We jump to the top of the third to bring up Rymel Tapia. One for one on the day. Tapia again hits it up the middle. That's a single. Top of the third, it's Daryl Hernandez. He's 0 for 1. Toppy on first. Hernandez sends it out of here. The rookie comes up big. His fifth home run of the season. That ball was crushed. And was not coming back. Hernandez, the question was, was it going to stay fair? And that one did. Hernandez technically shouldn't have swung since Tapia was running. He did anyway, and he will be rewarded. Up next, Brandon Belt, who's one for one. He ended up getting his first hit in the series. And his last at bat, and he'll get another one. Crushed off the wall. Belt looking for it and he'll get there safely with a double. Now his second hit of the series and that is going to take him out of the game. Coming in the game, Connor Brogdon this season. One start that was a couple days ago. One holds, one inning pitched. Up next is Zach Geloff. He's 0 for 1, 2 outs, 1 and 1 count. There's a ball and now it's 2 and 1 count. Uh, by the way, he didn't even make it to the fourth, which is crazy. And he actually got pulled out right there, up the middle. Sending Bell. Oh, what a throw. Guns him down. Up now is Edmundo Sosa. Hitting 267. No call for Kremer there. Now the 2-2. Two and two. Here's the pitch. There it is, it's over his head! Sosa! Still running! And that's a triple for the Phillies' first hit of the game! Up now, Whit Merrifield. Hits that one! It's over, Galoff! The Phillies are on the board! Merrifield the second, but he will be thrown out. But to end the third, they do score a run. It's 5-1. to one. That wasn't Turner. That was Sosa. But uh, something happened, and he's going to be taken out of the game. Hope he has a speedy recovery. Wait. Trey Turner's in the game. Okay, so I confused them. That's my bad. Oh, we're in the bottom of the six now, and it's Whit Merrifield. Hits that one. It's going to fall shallow right for a single. I accidentally deleted the footage, but Bryce Harper crushed the ball with Merrifield on base. 5-3. to three. Dominguez coming into the game. Now next up, Brandon Belt. 2 for 3, 1 out in the top of the 8th. It's a 2 and 1 count. There's a ball. 3 and 1. Matt Schramm getting ready in the bullpen there for the ninth inning, most likely. Here's a 3 and 1 count pitch. There's a ball. Walks up next is Zach Geloff. He's one for three, one out, one and one count. Here comes the pitch. Geloff got some pop. It's traveling. If it was anywhere else in the ballpark, that would have been gone. Instead, Bell 
He saved the throw was off. Six to three. Brings up Tyler Soderstrom. He's one for three. One and one count. There's a ball. Two and one count. There's still one out. This is a chance for Soderstrom to open up the game. Oh, and he misses the slider. That would have been huge Soderstrom. But it doesn't matter because that one's got pop. It's gone. Soderstrom, his ninth home run of the season. It's 8-3. to three. My goodness, what a hit. Crushed it. And here we go. Bottom of the ninth. And up is Nick Castellanos. The Phillies trying to make a comeback in this game here. It's definitely not going to be an easy one. And a swing and a miss. That no help from Castellanos. Now it's JT Real Muto. He's 0 for 3. He gets the call. Uh, whoa, whoa. Tried it. Let's one off the wrist. And that ball is gone. Real Muto number 13. Here comes Brad Hand this season, 13 games, 1-1 one one record, 7 holds, 13.2 innings pitch, 1.9 ERA. We picked him up later in the season from free agency, and he has been pretty beneficial for us. I didn't orig originally want to put him up in the setup position, but it's worked out pretty well. Ramirez has got that one, and the Phillies are down to their last out. The Athletics need one more out to win the game. There's a strike. Down to the final strike. Here's the pitch. That's the game. The Athletics will not get swept. He's got it. That is a big one. The Phillies cannot clutch up. Even after the home run, the definition of too little, too Late. Wow. Nice. And now, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, and leave the comment. Thank you. And goodbye.